Hello. This is Deanna with Food Bank Beautiful. It is March, Friday the 8th. Can you believe it? Eight days into March already. That just seems crazy to me. So today is going to be a mini food bank haul and I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that. So this is the food bank that I usually attend every other Wednesday. And then on Fridays, they have what they call a mini haul. Now, last week, I went for the very first time to their Friday mini haul, and it was not a mini haul. It was huge, right? You guys saw that last week. So this week, I couldn't decide whether I was going to go or not, and I decided to go ahead and go, but I wanted to be very selective about what I took. I did not want a box of groceries this time. I just feel like the, um, like I'm stocked pretty good. I don't need any meat. I don't need any cans of vegetables or fruits. I don't need anything like that. I don't need pastas, not anything like that. So really what I was hoping for when I went was produce and bread. So let's see if I got what I wanted, okay? Sometimes we get what we want, sometimes we don't. <laughs> and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. And sometimes we get a little more than we want. So again, this is small but mighty, and I love it, and my heart is happy with it. So let's get to it. Uh, the first thing I got was two packages of mango slices. So there's one and here's the other. So I'm looking forward to trying these. I want to eat them fresh if possible. And if not, I will freeze them and put them into smoothies. The next thing I got that I'm pretty excited about is a two pound bag of broccoli. This looks like the kind of broccoli that you get at Costco. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to trim this up, make sure it's all nice and pretty, and then I'm going to put it in a Tupperware, put it in my refrigerator. I want to eat some of this raw, and then I want to make a macaroni and cheese with broccoli, and I might add chicken to it, or I might leave the chicken out. That's my plans for this. I could make a broccoli cheddar soup, but we just had a cauliflower cheddar soup not too long ago. Then I also got, you know, you know, your girl loves her cabbage. I got a head of cabbage. It's very heavy. It feels like a bowling ball. I love it. I'm either going to make some fried cabbage and potatoes, or I might try to make a um, egg roll bowl. But we just had egg rolls, so I might not do that. We'll see. Cabbage lasts a long time, so I have plenty of time to think about this. The next thing I got was a purple cauliflower. Now this, as soon as we're done uh, filming this, I need to clean this up. This needs immediate attention. My goal here is to eat this fresh with some ranch dressing. Produce wise, I also got five gorgeous limes. Mm, they smell really good. And I just used the last of my limes. I just dehydrated them uh, over the last two days. I think I had two or three stray um, headed south of the border limes. <laughs> so I'm very happy to have these. The next thing that I got produce wise was a five pound bag of California sweet mandarins and those look so scrumptious. there's not any uh, moldy on those there's nothing so um, grandma and I and my husband gets back we'll be eating those fresh and we will be enjoying them the last produce item that I got that I was very happy to get is some ginger now they had a huge <laughs> can't even show you. They had a huge box of ginger and um, probably, I don't know, 40 pounds is what I'm guessing. And um, I love ginger. 
and it smells so good. But I think three gingers is plenty <laughs> for what I intend to use ginger for. So I'm very happy to have that. Bread-wise, I received two things that I'm very excited about. I always love it when I get the Kirkland, uh, I don't know what they're called, everything but the kitchen sink, is that what they're called? Uh, the everything bagel. I like the way I say it better. Everything but the kitchen sink. So these are so yummy and they last a long time. Uh, when it's grandma and I, we take a bagel, we cut it in half, she eats a half, I eat a half, and we're both happy. So these last us a while. When my husband's home, he can eat a whole bagel. <laughs> Easily. The other thing that I got was a loaf of rosemary and olive oil bread. Are you guys tired of me sticking my nose in things? I don't think I can stop. Mmm. You can smell the rosemary. It's so beautiful. And there's a hint of the olive oil. I really want that so bad. I just want to make toast and eat toast all day long. And I don't think you will call this a bread item, but <laughs> there was a monstrously long table filled with cookies and I felt it was my obligation <laughs> to relieve them of one package of cookies. I think grandma will enjoy these. These are a softer cookie and it's easy for her to eat. So I picked these up. Now that's not to say that grandma's gonna eat them all. I'm sure that I will eat one or two. My husband will not eat them because they have frosting on them, but um, grandma can eat them. And then the last two items is we have Mexican food on the menu either tonight or tomorrow, Sunday at the very latest. I don't know if this will last till Sunday. This is a little container of Spanish rice. So I think if I'm going to use this, I need to use it today. So tonight I need to make something with this rice. And then the last thing I got is a bag of walnuts. <laughs> is it food bank if you don't come home with either a bag of walnuts, a bag of almonds, or two two-pound bag of lentils? I ask you. <laughs> Now, there were many, many other things there to pick and choose from, but I just felt like I am stocked enough that I didn't want to take anything more than what I took here. So if I count everything, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I took 12 items. Well, 12 different things. I got like a double of the mangoes and triplets of the ginger. But that's what I took, and I am exceedingly happy. Uh, the, the little oranges, they were in a, in a box. <laughs> I, you can't even see me how far my arms are. And they really wanted people to take really as many as they thought they could handle. But honestly, I think that I can only handle the one bag. Plus, I have vanilla oranges on my canning shelves, and I have dehydrated oranges, so really just fresh oranges, one bag was plenty. So I loved my food bank haul. It wasn't massive. It wasn't more than I needed. It wasn't more than I wanted. It was absolutely exactly what I could have hoped for. I'm most happy about... I'm looking because it's hard to pick, but let me, let me look one more time, okay? Let me look one more time. Uh, I'm going to say my three favorite things are the bag of broccoli, the bag of oranges, and the olive rosemary bread. So that's it, people. I'm just going to keep this one uh, short. And simple although I think no no I'm not I lied I'm not I'm gonna give you a little clip about uh, me dehydrating my oranges lemons and limes and then I'm gonna show you my kitchen because after I made chicken pot pie yesterday <sighs> Lord have mercy it was horrible in my kitchen last night 
And this morning I got grandma up, I fed her breakfast, she came out, she watched the birds, she played around. But um, it took me over an hour to clean my kitchen and then it made me crabby because it just wouldn't end. It was so much cleaning work, I couldn't stand it. So um, I will show you that, the dehydrating and the kitchen. And then I might have another little video or not. I'm gonna have to clean up a bunch of vegetables and then I might want to show you a purchase that I made today. We'll see. Can you guys guess what it was? Is your girl going to be in a little bit of trouble? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not going to tell you right now. If I post it, then I post it. If I don't, well, I guess it remains a mystery. All right, you guys are great. Have a fabulous weekend if you don't watch anything else from me this weekend. And I will see you uh, next week because we're going to have to bake next week and we're going to cook next week. Okay? All right. Ta-ta. This is another little job that I got done today. I had some fruit in the bottom of my refrigerator. And I decided to go ahead and dehydrate it. So you can see about five or six little oranges, one or two little lemons, and I think two stray little limes. So I'm going to go ahead and dehydrate those. And while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and use the peels and just make my house smell nice. And there it is. I believe it's going to need 24 hours and I'm putting it at about 137. We'll check on them and see how they do. And here they are, my beautiful dehydrated lemons, limes, and oranges. They're beautiful. They smell so good. I'll be putting them in tea. I'll be grinding them up when I need a little orange zest. They're so pretty. So I'm so glad I did that project. Anyway, I wanted you to see those. Yeah, those are nice. I think they're nice anyway. Okay, I am back and I can see in the camera that I look a little bit terrifying. Still got two pairs of glasses on my head. <laughs> um, it is what it is. So a little bit of sad news. I opened up my bag of broccoli to clean it up and break it into pieces and it smelled like death. So at first I started picking through it and there was a lot more ugly than I thought, but even the pieces that I could cut down and get the ugly off, they smelled bad. Took them over to the sink, ran them under cold water, smelled them again, and there was no. So those went out to my chickens. And the same thing with the cauliflower. I was very, very sad not to be able to clean those two items up well enough to cook with them. <sighs> and as disappointing as that is, people, that is going to happen from time to time. So when it does, don't cry, don't fuss. If you try to clean it up and you feel like you're not going to be able to use it because it it smells bad, then don't use it. Okay, I know that if I would have made my broccoli um, and put it into my macaroni and cheese, my whole thing, I would not have been able to eat. The odor was too foul. So don't hang on to it and try to use it if you think it's not going to be okay. Just do your best, all right? Next time I get a bag of broccoli, I bet I'll be able to clean it up and it'll be great. This bag of broccoli, not the case. This head of cauliflower, not the case. And honestly, that is going to happen. 
So I haven't said this in a while, but if you are contemplating going to the food bank, um, I want you to go. All right, don't be afraid. Just go. Go and see what your food bank offers and then make the most of it. But I want you to know that there will be times that you will bring something home that you think is okay and you get it home, you get it ready to clean up and it is not okay. It's not the end of the world. What else did you get? All right, my bread is beautiful. My bagels are beautiful. My oranges are beautiful. I'm afraid to look behind me because I think a, a chicken jumped up. All right, that's, mm, all right. I see them now, but it sounded like one of them jumped up on my spotlessly clean counter behind me and I was going to take no prisoners and eat the wounded, but it's okay. Betty Jan is right here. Sissy is down there. Grandma is in the room with all those baby chicks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I, I digress, but I want to say if you get something and you bring it home and you think it's going to be great and you get it home and it's not, it's okay. It's all right. Either salvage it the best you can. Make sure that you're going to be able to enjoy it, okay? And if you can't salvage it, in my case, I can feed it to chickens, which is great. It just means that the chickens are going to give me richer and beautiful eggs for the next two weeks, right? Okay. So I am going to make tacos because um, tacos have been on the menu for a few days, and I want to use this rice, all right? So we are going to do that. As usual, I am never completely put together when I turn the camera on because that would just be too stinking easy. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you down. I have a skillet that's warm. I'm gonna add some oil. I'm gonna throw in my hamburger and some seasoning. Then I'm going to scoop out some of that so that grandma can have her taco with just the beef in it. But I'm going to add some leftover potatoes and eggs that I made for breakfast yesterday to my part of the taco meat. And I'm going to eat that. I think that's going to be delicious. And uh, I don't want to waste that. Girl doesn't want to waste. She also doesn't want to eat broccoli that, um, and I brought, broccoli has a smell to it anyway, and I'm not talking about that smell. I'm talking about something that was just a little bit fouler than that. Let's get down here and look. Okay, now I'm going to, I don't want my alarm to go off, but here's a little bit of oil. Just needs a little bit. And I'm just heating my hamburger up and adding taco seasoning to it. So let's do that. This is canned hamburger that I canned. This was a food bank item. This oil was a food bank item. And we're gonna get this out of the jar. There we go. some taco seasoning somewhere. Don't I? Well, I have a full package, but I could have sworn I had a half a package and I sent it over here, but I don't see it, so maybe not. Okay, let's get this open. There we go. And I think that I will throw the rice in here as well. 
I took a bite of it earlier. It tasted good to me. So I'm happy to just throw my rice in there. We'll let that heat up. While that's heating up, I will grate some cheese. I'm going to put this back because I didn't use all, all the seasoning. I think that's enough seasoning. Let's get some cheese grated. This cheese is food bank cheese. Honestly, I just do not want to trash my kitchen today. <laughs> I tell you what, cleaning up that kitchen this morning after that huge mess that I made last night was ridiculous. Can you guys see me over here? Okay. This will be good. This is a food bank item. The sour cream I'm going to use is mine. The big taco shells that I'm using are mine. The little taco shells are food bank and the avocado is food bank. But I think I'm doing both of our tacos in the big tacos. It looks like I have two of those. So we'll use those up and I'll worry about the other tacos later. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, now, like I said, I'm going to take some of this out for Grandma so that hers is just straight beef and rice. I think she would eat the potatoes and egg part just fine, but I think that she'll like it better in just like this. And because I think that, I'm going to go ahead and pull out enough for two or three tacos for her. Uh-oh. Get down. Get. That was Sissy. That was Sissy. And Betty Jan is figuring out that she's rather go to the floor than jump over here. So, lesson learned. Okay, let's dump that in. This is potato and egg. And I think there's no reason in this world why this shouldn't be yummy. Let that get all nice and heated. And while we're doing that, we can get Grandma's taco ready to go. Might want to grab a knife and cut my potatoes a little bit smaller. We may have to do that. Okay, for Grandma's taco... Now, can you guys still see me? Maybe not. Let's go over here. Oh, I have three taco shells left. They only need two. Okay. Now, I'm just going to put it together there. I'm not going to... I'll have to get this done before I can go any further. So, Grandma's is going to have a nice scoop of taco filling. Should look about like that. Can you guys see that? It's gonna have a nice amount of cheese. It's going to have some sour cream. And we're going to put some avocado on it. And this will be a big lunch for her and for I as well. So I don't think we'll do much more than maybe a snack tonight. So there's that. And then let's cut the avocado. 
I wouldn't have minded if they'd have had avocados again, but I am not complaining because I think the last five or six or even seven avocados that I've used have been food bank and they have been beautiful. Okay, there's that. We'll get some avocado on there. Now she won't want any hot sauce or anything like that on hers. She'll want hers pretty mild. So that's all hers is going to look like. I'm just gonna pull that out onto my cutting board so you can see what I'm gonna do. Let me make sure you guys can still see. Okay, so all we're really going to do we're going to kind of move everything down to this third down here and I might have overfilled it that happens a lot when I make tacos and I'm just going to roll it up nice and tidy and it will look like this and I am going to fry that so there's grandma's for mine, I want to cut up my eggs and potatoes just a little bit smaller. So let me do that. Otherwise, it'll be hard to roll up. Okay, I think that looks good. And I will do mine. And I'm going to get a separate Tupperware because I don't think Grandma, I think she'd eat it, but I'm not sure if she'd love it. I think I'm not going to have any problem with it. I want to use up this little bit of potatoes. Okay. All right, so here's mine. So I'm going to start with some sour cream. And I didn't pull it out, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it because I think I know where it is. And if I know where it is, I want it. Yes. The last little bit of my cowboy candy before I have to open up the jars that I made a week or so ago. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, we've got that. There should be just enough dishes in my sink to uh, <laughs> to finish my load this morning. We don't know. I'm gonna bring you back down. Okay, so I will use also food bank cheese. And let's get a nice scoop of this. Okay. Kind of keep it down to that bottom third. I'm gonna use the other half of the avocado, but I need a spoon. go. You guys see me? Okay, that looks good. And I think that is everything that we are using today. Let me roll this up. Now this one's torn a little bit on the side, but I think we can still make it work. Pushing it all towards that. Let's get in there. Okay, there's mine. Okay, Tupperware for this filling. If 
I'm hungry tonight, I might eat another taco. If Grandma's hungry tonight, she loves tacos. She'll eat another taco. We'll see. Okay, now we're going to put this big bad boy back on the burner. Going to bring the temperature up a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of oil. This is where we're going to be working. So let's put it right there. Give that a second to heat up while I put everything back in the refrigerator. And that's it. Simple, easy, leftover, modified lunch. Cannot go wrong with that. And we have one tortilla left, so that'll be good for quesadillas. We had some white cheese that's mine that I ended up not using. Let me get this cheese back in here. Got that last little bit braided up and ready to go. Put all of this back in the refrigerator. We used up our sour cream and our rice, so those can go in the garbage. Get nice and hot. Okay. All of this back into the refrigerator. And my little avocado needs to go back into the refrigerator. eat that tomorrow I think okay where's my tongs right here hope that's hot enough is it hmm feels like it should be let's start with grandma's want to see how hot my oil is. It does not appear to be hot enough. Let's bring that up and see what happens. <laughs> if our tacos are going to be good, I think they're going to be good. And if they're not, too bad. It is what is for lunch. Need another plate. What are those two chickens doing? Oh, they're right here. Well, it's funny that it heated up so fast on the other pan. Okay. Nope, not enough bubbles to be hot enough oil. All right, I'll bring you back because, you know, I know you have better things to do than watch and see if my pot gets hot. <laughs> I'll bring you back, probably when I'm done frying and I'm ready to serve. Okay, <laughs> my life is a treat. <laughs> I just went to check on Grandma to give her a little orange pop to go with her taco, and um, she has put herself to bed and is napping. And so I'm not even going to fry her burrito up, but I am going to fry mine, and then I will feed her when she's done napping. She's had a big day. It's a lot of excitement to have uh, baby chicks. So, okay, so here's mine. And we'll let that fry up. And I'll come back again when it's time to serve. I will put grandma's in the refrigerator, and I'll leave this part out, and it'll be super easy for me to fry it and make it for her after nap. So that does not surprise me, <laughs> not at all, God bless her. But I went in about uh, 
right before I started this video and asked her if she was ready to eat some lunch and she said that she was but you know what she's 92 and if she wants to take a nap 10 minutes later that is okay with me there's nothing going on here that cannot wait all right I'll bring you back right before I'm ready to eat this Okay, there they are. In the food dish, you see the big chickens. You see Bridget Butterball Jones Fatty Pants. You see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And you see Chicky Poo. The rest of them are new additions. So you can see the Buff Orpingtons. They're the darker yellows. The little light gray ones. If I can get my finger right here. Those are the Lavender Orpingtons. These, I think, are the Plymouth Rocks. I could be wrong. And then somewhere in there, there are a Frizzle and a... can't think of the other name of it. Silky. Silky. And then there's two little brown ones that I think actually are not what I asked for but what I got I don't think those are speckled Sussex I could be wrong okay so there's the evidence of all the wrong that I did today where were you guys to rein me in hmm hmm where were you grandma how do you like your new chickens I like them. you like them she likes them they make, nice they make nice chicken noises she says Okay, like I said, if you don't see me after Tuesday, it means I'm in big trouble with my husband. <laughs> All right, bye-bye.